my name is Emily. I'm a designer here at Life Expressions. In this video today, I will be showing you how to lay a reverse stencil technique. The items you will need today are the palette sign surface, which is right here, and your LE stencil vinyl, which is right here, and your paint brushes. I have two today. However many colors you choose to use on your sign is however many colors or however many paint brushes you will want. The colors I chose are lamp black and antique white. These are our exclusive Life Expressions paint colors. The last couple things are a sanding block or sandpaper, whatever you have it home and then LE sealer. Now you're going to want to grab your sanding block or sanding paper, whichever one you have at home. We are going to be sanding our surface. Um, just remember our stencil has to stick to this surface. It may be a little rough right now so if you can get, get it as smooth as you can so that the stencil vinyl can stick to it. All right, now that we have our palette board all nice and sanded, uh, we are gonna take our stencil vinyl. Um, most people eyeball it if you would like to use the tape measure and just measure you would usually just see make sure that this is the same as this side and then same for up here um, for this technique though I'm just gonna eyeball it just because it's a lot easier and with this vinyl it's easier to peel off of this board without it like sticking right away so what you want to do is flip it over and Start peeling the backing, if I can get it, and just kind of do it on an angle so that it doesn't pull up any of the letters. Alright. Okay, now that we have this stencil vinyl all laid down and pressed as well as we can get it. Um, you're gonna want to start, not that cool, you're gonna start, you're gonna wanna start with one of the corners pulling back the backing from this. Um, you want to go kind of slow because it will try and pull up the letters and you can accidentally rip a letter or it can pull a piece up and you, it'll be hard to find in this sticky transfer tape. So just take your time as you're doing this part. Um, you will see that the stencil vinyl itself is going to want to come up a little bit as well. Um, just take your finger and kind of just push down on it on all the pieces. Once it's down and you do the next step, it'll be it'll be fine. So just do this to the whole board. Make sure you have all the backing off. Don't miss any of the inside pieces like the O and the E, it'll have a little tiny piece inside it. Make sure you leave that on the board. Okay, you got the transfer tape off. Um, now you can just see some little like bubbly spots. You want to just go through with your hand and just kind of push it down. All the areas just one more time before we do the seal it. Just be careful doing it so you don't get any of the center spots of like the E's and the O's and A's and all that. One to two coats 
whatever you whatever you want, I guess. Um, make sure it's not too thick though, because when if you do it really thick, if you do the paint over top of it, and if it tends to go under the stencil vinyl, it will it'll just it'll have like a big bubble, kind of like so. Just paint over all the words. All right, we are almost done here. As you may have noticed, um, a lot of the smaller inside vinyl, like the E and the O or anything that's smaller, it might come up when you do the paintbrush over top of it. Just put it back down and put a little bit more sealant over it and it should stay down. Um, you may find different ways that work better for you. Um, this part's not staying, but just to like dab it like this around the words and then to go over it lightly so you don't peel anything up it tends to work better for me. Um, Just remember, I didn't get any on the outside, but don't get any, especially with the paint, don't get any on the outside border because it's not covering the entire sign, the entire board. That doesn't, the paint won't come off very well, so it will leave a mark. Okay, we're just going to do one coat. Let that dry for about... You'll be able to tell when it's dry. Okay, once your LED sealer is dry, you may take your two, or however many paint colors you're doing, paint colors, make sure you shake it up a little bit. Um, a different paintbrush, obviously, for the color paint you choose. With this sign in the catalog, it is the dots, the sun, this line right here and then the personalized family is one color and then the rest of the words is the other color. If you want to do six paint colors with this sign and you want or even every single word a different color, you may do whatever you would like, but we are just going to do two. Um, we're going to start with the white and do the graphics and then the personalized name. And I guess you don't, depending on the look you want, you can do as much paint as you want. If you want it very like bold, then you're going to want several coats. If you want it more antique and you kind of want the wood grain to show through, then just do one or how, however many you, your desired look. getting the paint on the outside of the board. This is one of the ones that I'm talking about where this word is very, very close. Just take your time. Don't go fast because if you get the paint on the outside of the board, it doesn't, it doesn't come off very easily and you don't want to ruin your sign just because you're in a hurry. All right, so I'm just going to set this paintbrush up. We're going to start with the second color, which is the lamp black. Just do the same thing you did with the sealer in the first color. Okay. I did the first coat with the black, the lamp black. Um, I want a little bit more bold look, so I'm just gonna go through, the white is fine. Um, I'm gonna go through one more time with the black and do another coat, just a, a light second coat. 
then that should be that should that should be good. It should give me the look I'm looking for. And this paint dries fairly fast, so you don't have to sit here and wait for 20 minutes. By the time I got done with this last word, this top word was, was already dry, so. Okay, we are done doing the second coat of the second color. We're just going to want to let this dry for probably about 10 minutes, depending on how thick you did your paint. But I would say for this, this sign right here, I would I'll let it dry for about 10 minutes, and then we can do the next step, which will be pulling the stencil off. Okay, now that the paint has fully dried, we are going to peel back the stencil. Um, still do this a little slow in case you do come, a, a, come across a wet spot. You don't want to smear it. We're just peeling up the stencil. Don't worry about the pieces left. Um, we will get that in a second. There's that. Now if you want to take your fingernail and take the stencil that's left inside of the letters, just peel those up. Um, if you have something at home like a safety pin or something, an X-Acto knife, something that's easier to do at home, you may do that. But it does come right up with your fingernails. Some spots may be a little bit more wet than others, so just be careful when you're laying your arm across the board. All right, and after you get out all the center pieces of vinyl, stencil vinyl, you then have your completed sign. Here we go.